Our next speaker has been involved in alternative and experiential education since the time she was three, both as an educator and as a learner. Please welcome Jennifer Shikes Haynes. <laughs> Have you ever had a nurse who's scared of blood? Well, it it could have happened if my student, John, had followed the path set out for him by his parents and guidance counselors. John, like most students today, was told, the ticket to success is college. And even though the money wasn't there, he took out loans and found a way to go. Once he was there, they directed him toward nursing, even though it would have been a terrible fit for him and for us. But he got out of it. In the U.S., we're not separated early into different educational tracks. We can all be college-bound if we have the basic talent. But also in the U.S., we have to find a way to pay for our education. And in 2013, that involved an average college debt of $35,000. So John becomes part of our lost youth. The Johns, Pedros, Jinlis, and Keishas, who are bright, motivated, and they want to go out into the world and make a difference and support themselves, and they all get the same story. You've got to go to college whether you're ready for it or not. You'll have to take on loans, but don't worry, you'll pay them back as soon as you get a job. But they don't get those jobs. And guess what? Their parents are also in debt for those wasted educations. And I know that everybody in here knows at least one person in their 20s who's underemployed or buried under debt for a degree that they're either not using and maybe weren't all that interested in in the first place. Or maybe you even know someone my age who's still paying down their own college debt and trying to help their child pay down there. Only because the only question everybody asks is, how are you going to get to college? Instead of, should you even go to college? Because not everyone should go to college. Instead, they could be directed to the many amazing programs out there that are low cost, no cost, or income generating. Such as, there are free classes through U of M, Harvard, and MIT online. There are grit building volunteer experiences, such as City Year. There are paid professional apprenticeship programs, like Institute. Learning journeys, such as Mycelium. There are coding schools, maker spaces, and um, incubators. There are resort jobs year-round. There are um, different kinds of religious missions, global travel and work projects, industrial apprenticeships that are also paid, such as Focus Hope Detroit. And there are nonprofits, like my own Alternative U, which can provide students with outstanding learning experiences to live their best lives. But what we need are risk takers. Risk takers who are in a position to hire and those who are in a position to choose alternative ways to learn and develop skills outside of college. Most employers today ask for a BA when an associate's degree or even on-the-job training would do simply to weed out applicants. And they complain about the skill sets and work etiquette of their college-trained young workers but they're unwilling to take a chance on someone whom they could mentor to become their perfect employee. So consider this. What if you had someone come to you who had taught, what, excuse me, taught in Guatemala or Bhutan or Tanzania, someone who's had real life experience and has grit and has learned creative problem solving, lived in another language, hasn't been attached to his or her cell phone? Don't you think someone like that would be happy to learn any skill sets that you, the employer, set out for them to learn? What if this was part of their work contract for you? Now, parents want security for their children. But in these days of economic transition, that's pretty much impossible. The average person will have 10 different jobs and at least three different career transitions before the age of 38. What we need are fired up youth who can step into the challenge of multiple careers. And that's a challenge that can't always be met by a four-year degree. What we need are businesses that are willing to look with a 21st century lens instead of a 20th century one. So I challenge you, whether you're a young person 
or a parent or a business owner to think outside the box. Hire someone if they're a good fit, no matter what letters come after their name. Parents, if your 18-year-old isn't ready for college, financially or otherwise, let them try something inspiring. Students, make the choice that makes you and our economy come alive. Thank you.